And we're back with a Brento cast on the road. Riding around with Wild Card back here snoring. She's a little snotty from a cold, but um, I'm also fighting said cold. She's had it for a couple weeks since starting preschool. So we've been dealing with that. And unfortunately, it's just taken her a, all the cold she ever had before preschool. She was just, she'd have them, you barely even know she had a cold. This one's been hanging in there and it's pretty rough. Lots of snot. That's the first time for her. But um, we're just dealing with it as we can. But anyway, I thought I would knock out this week's Brento cast by talking about what's been going on. So this week has been a fairly busy one. Mm, Middling busyness with massage this week. Not quite as much as the norm, but also not as slow as it had been being lately. So um, let's see, went to class Monday night, did some uh, like max sort of testing our max on squat and bench press and in my case that really made me very sore um so um let's see tuesday i had something really oh we took my mother to the tasty crab and uh also we ended up getting food for liam and taking delilah and summer and i guess summer's boyfriend patrick dinner and um then wednesday which was yesterday of course um I went to the uh, recording studio in Faith and worked with David Harper, uh, working up keys and organ and all that for uh, three of the Vigo Brothers songs. I also made a small um, kind of video doc of that, which I have mostly edited, and I'm uh, hoping to share that with those guys because they couldn't be there in person. So um, that's been my week thus far. Uh, also, Sunday I had a really nice uh, rehearsal with Harrison. Uh, I may have mentioned previously that uh, our drummer guy did not show up after all the rigmarole of, hey, can you can I wait till after my training? Can I wait a month and a half? And all this. And after confirming on Wednesday, he did not show up. He did, would not respond to my text or my phone call. And that's what you get when you try to get people off the internet. Even though I had, a, I thought a connection to this guy because his sister-in-law is a customer at our store and he's only five minutes away never could get him to respond so obviously he decided he didn't want to do it i mean at 60 years old you don't already have a band there's probably a reason i don't mean to be snarky but like there's probably a reason you don't have a group of people you're playing with but who knows i mean i don't know the guy didn't get a chance to know him so but anyway and uh an interesting turn of events i posted some sort of little complaint you know hey if i were al demiola and i tagged al demiola if I were Al Demiola, I wouldn't have to worry about drummers not showing up. You know, the you know, implication there is, of course, Al Demiola is a legendary guitar player who, <clears throat> you know, plenty of content in Guitar World magazine about this guy, tutorials on his style. He's just an amazing, amazing artist on the guitar. And, uh, you know, he doesn't need a, accompaniment to be incredible and do shows and concerts and whatnot. But anyway... He responded back to my post. He said, believe it or not, at Brent Bowers, believe it or not, I've been known to make drummers run screaming to the hills or something to that that nature. And good luck, pal. I was like, wow. I confess that uh, having a response from one of my guitar heroes has blown my mind a little bit. So anyway, it was cool. Um, But... uh, interesting week thus far but anyway the rehearsal on the christmas stuff went pretty good and i did we worked on one song for ant so when i did a little demo um some demo recordings of our christmas songs in that one song but unfortunately i screwed it up and i hadn't been working with that zoom very often and so i unplugged my guitar and forgot that and so we ended up not having separate tracks for some of the things and anyway we did get us a start on learning and putting together the christmas show and i hope to properly record those shows this Sunday uh, at 3.30, presuming everybody can make it, and I'm hearing maybe that Tony might not be able to make it, which is unfortunate, but I, you know, Tony's, I, I, I consider Tony, well, and Harrison too, for that matter, to be just a privilege to practice and or re- perform with, so, you know, I try to make sure that I'm prepared and hope that they'll do the same, and when it comes to actually practicing in a room, you know, these guys, even Harrison's 20 minutes away, uh, I think Tony's probably an hour away and 
you know, at the end of the day, we're playing lots of times for free or for tips or food or very, very little. So it's not like it's a professional engagement, even though we try to be as professional about it as possible. So I never take it personal when anyone says, I can't make it this Sunday. I got a family commitment, whatever. I know all about family commitments. But um, I do don't I do not like it when people say they're going to be there and don't show. That's where I start getting hard feelings because I'm like, hey, man, you wasted my time. You know, I, I hurried up a family thing to get here on time for this rehearsal when you weren't going to come for another hour. Why did I do that? Because you were too inconsiderate to be honest about when you were going to be there or live up to your word, how, however you want to look at it. But, um, you know, life's too short to be angry about things like that. So um, that does kind of miff me, but I'm not going to let it, you know, kill my joy. Speaking of joy, I have really been enjoying digging out these christmas songs oh on a completely other uh other side of the thing i am going to be starting a tiktok because i'm going to be doing some work with the ansel brown who has a bunch of followers apparently some live stuff he is already beyond that threshold on tiktok where you can go live so we're planning some live performances with ansel and um pretty exciting stuff because uh, i like performing and i like it i like filmmaking as well so you know tiktok's a bit different for me but um but i think we can work into that but anyway i needed to have a tiktok account so he could share promotion with me and you know promote bauer foreman or what have you so i recently renamed my gray bro tiktok account to brent bowers music and i do not have any um i don't have any actual um content on there yet but i will be having some soon and I'm excited about that. I just don't really know much about filming on TikTok and or editing a piece. Apparently, it's edited videos, but in a very quick format. So um, it'll be interesting to kind of get into that and learn about it a bit more. So now we are coming up to the crest on the top. We're cresting Mara Mountain, and we're driving around the Circle Drive at the Overlook. It's a bit cloudy today, but still quite beautiful up here. And the weather is, of course, very, very nice. I had planned to get out and sit and let Delilah run around, but she conked out on me. And I always try to give her at least 45 minutes because she will not take a nap on her own every day if it's she'd have her druthers. It's just that after we have a little snack, we played at the park earlier and <clears throat> went and dropped off a, um, a sh- some ship stuff I had to ship for albumarnutrition.com. And um, then we walked up to the Pine Street Park, which is really just a couple picnic tables and... Um, some uh, wow it's beautiful up here what a view from the top of mara mountain and by the way nowadays the park stays up until uh, nine o'clock so you can come up here and watch the sun go down and i recommend that highly if you're in the area and you haven't done it because it's real beautiful um gonna do that with delilah real soon actually might do it tonight depending on how she's feeling uh, i'm a little bit run down but if i take medicine and just keep a drink in my hand and it's not so bad it's just my uh, just my throat primarily and oddly enough it's not my throat like it hurts to sing it's just got a little bit of congestion nothing like what delilah's dealing with it's like the snottiest cold i have ever seen her have but um anyway she's back here just uh snoring with snot (laughs) so to speak um i digress (laughs) oh man what a week what a week it's good to be alive. Fall, of course, being my favorite season, like a lot of people in North Carolina. The leaves are changing slowly this year. Like, I'm on, on Mar Mountain. There's still plenty of green, but there's a lot of orange and yellow and uh, just a few leaves on the ground. But it, by the time it, they're all down, it'll be just like a, a fall wonderland up here of color. Lots of maples up here, so they're very colorful leaves. And just starting to see some of that. And... Um, very fun to come up here and check out i wish i could kind of freeze the middle of fall and just you know hang on to that for about two months a year but unfortunately it's not not that way like the the real exciting uh flaming colors only last for about a week before they're all down so it's interesting to try to capture that and i've never really successfully captured it on film i was thinking about my drone which I bought brand new, and from the very beginning, it's had overheating issues uh, on its um, 
it's it's gimbal like the, you start to use the gimbal and it'll say gimbal overheating and you haven't done anything and i think i might have flown it once without taking all the stickers off of the actual camera itself so i don't know if that caused it but it seems like i i've had that ever since and i've never really had good service out of that particular drone camera the drone itself works fine it's just the camera gimbal seems to be jittery and unfortunately that's kept me from getting any really great footage i got some good photos but the footage always seems to have a little shake and you know if you got to go that extra step to try to work out the uh, stabilize it and work out the uh the jiggle it just it discourages you from using the drone and now it's so heavily regulated it's like if anybody sees you with it you're likely to get hassled so um i don't use it very often now i do have the former drone which uh was the big old dji i think uh p4 i can't even remember the name of it but it was a really stable model it just has legs that don't fold up you know you just have to carry it in a big old case but i if i push comes to shove i could use that but it's only 2k which is probably fine for my videos online but 4k is really kind of the standard now um but i was thinking about some stuff that i want to film and i have a uh i have a plan we're going to be doing christmas at baden in this year staying the night before christmas and christmas day and one of the things i thought i might like to try to do on christmas day after the presents and dinner and whatnot is to walk the power line that extends from the um, back of the golf course property that's with baden in uh, across the power line to the um, falls road that kind of goes down to the the um, boat access on Mara mountain and uh because it's a clear shot i mean i can see how far it is i can get on that road and just sort of estimate where the top of the hill is and it's maybe like a not a mile three three quarters of a mile maybe um but there's a place where there's a big dip in the road that they have like a little access road uh that kind of goes across the power line and i'm just talking like a atv access road so it looks real wild and rough there's a place where you can sort of see the, the steep hill behind it and there's a little rise in the middle and i thought man if i could set my drone up to where you know capture me and then go back down the hill and just kind of walk up it would look like you were walking crest in this huge mountain anyway it's just a visual that i have in mind and i want to try to do that when i'm staying at baden inn because of course if you're staying there they don't say anything to you about walking on the trails so I could just cruise out there but of course i was thinking probably knowing nancy she'll be like i'm so tired i want to do hours." You know, she'll be too tired to mind Delilah for two hours to let me do that. So I may bring, be bringing Delilah with me, and that would mean Delilah plus the uh, backpack. We'll just have to see how how she's feeling, how she's acting, and she's she's sometimes fairly independent. Other times, it's like Papa I'll carry me. I'm like, well, I can't carry you and the backpack. You know, so have to be have to be careful about that. But this morning was nice. We walked from the post office up to the little park there, and there was a little yard display with a blow-up dragon and and she wanted to take a picture in front of that so i shot a photograph and and a video of course and it was it was fun enjoy my my time with her and I'm, I, I really do try to be present for that and focus on it i hate to see her with a cold that really crushes me she's gonna be snoring all over this uh <laughs> this episode of brento cast i guess but um yeah man fall and her she's just growing up so fast it's just i keep talking about it but like you know three years have went by like that and now you know she's going into year four and then there'll be five and then who knows she may not be like all papa's girl like she is now so i want to really take advantage of the time when she's all she sees me and if i'm not there she's like where's papa i want papa you know so i am not trying to uh i'm not trying to um take that for granted there there um what do you call it when you throw uh they're mulching trees right now and a big old crew out here um looks like there's a full complement of people working at the park office which i don't get down to very often i think i'll just drive through here and loop around loop around see what they got going on yeah, I haven't been in that park park office probably in 10 years. I should go in there. Just see what they got. No parking in circle. And there's a truck parked right in the circle. And they've got a Mara Mountain uh, Memories building down here that I wasn't even aware of. I've totally forgotten that was down here. 
and it says Morrow Mountain through the ages. Apparently it's a museum. Hours are 10 to 5. Man Delilah will be coming back and checking that out when she's awake. And it looks like it's open with the lights on. Doggone. I actually want to see that. Well, she'll be awake in half an hour. We might get back to it today. Who knows? I might stop and get me some tissue, though, because I tell you what, her little nose is running. Um, poor thing. She closes her mouth when she... Uh, when she's snoring and that means the snot is just blah, bubbling up yeah this, this is the snot episode I think I'm going to call this one ep 18 not trying to be snotty <laughs> you always look for a little hook Martin Mountain I mean I it is not lost on me how fortunate we are to be so close to this because it's a really incredible park you don't have to pay to come in I mean, parks at the beach, you got to pay. I mean, when we, there's one we go to about every time we go to North Myrtle, and it's, it's not cheap either. It's like $8 an adult. I'm like, for real? What about all that tax money that it takes to run one of these? Next time, though, I think we're going to go to the one that's further down because I want to see the alligators, and apparently they have alligators there. We almost went to it this time, but what stopped us was we were on the way. I said, you know what, Nancy, we had to wait for 40 minutes to get up in the line to pay our dues to get in. What's it going to be like at the other place? And we were driving home after, and she said, you're right, let's let's not do that. So, Right now, I am down here at the uh, trail that's down below the pool area. There's a little picnic area out here, and Delilah and I, it's not as heavily frequented. We will sometimes come out here and walk in it. Looks like they have the uh, they have red tape around the one picnic shelter, and I wonder what that's all about. Well, I'm sure if I go out there, I could read it. But uh, anyway, they had all the bathrooms closed out here during COVID. That was bullshit. It's like you're out in the middle of the forest. Why would you have the only bathroom? You think somebody's gonna catch COVID in the bathroom? I don't think so. But. Um, yeah, this is a there's a really great, great trail up here that uh, I think it's called the Hathaway Mountain Trail. That's a challenging trail. You better have your knees in shape when you do that one. Even going up and down, it's so steep, but uh, it's a great workout. It takes you about an hour and a half to do it. To me, anyway. Um, I'm just really wanting to move into that hiking again and get Delilah super interested in it and get her a little backpack. And if I have my my plan, if my stuff goes to plan, maybe next year, maybe this year, but soon it'll be like, I'll be one of our hobbies going out because she loves nature and animals. And Ooh, I got an invite to a kind of a commercial horse barn today to bring Delilah out to. And so mid-November after I get back from the beach, we are going to try to do that. And it's kind of a rain or shine because it's like about an acre under a barn. It's it, it, The barn is it's huge, right? So worked on a, one of my clients today and her her husband runs that and we were just talking and about horses and our affinity for horses and they apparently have a rather tame horse that we could kind of let delilah get used to but i might take some get some sugar cubes or something and she'll love she'll love horses interacting with horses basically anything covered in fur she's like i want to hug it and i can relate uh there's an Arabic expression that says, uh, the, uh, the breath of God is that which flows between a horse's ears. And I thought, man, horses are magic. And anybody with a soul knows that. I don't know if it's their big old eyes or just how they're so strong and, you know, are willing to be ridden and used as work, an- work, work, work animals. And, you know, it's just, it's just amazing. Cause if a horse didn't want to do something, you were not going to physically force it to do it, typically. I mean, the bit is just an inconvenience. They don't like it. Not that kind of, you're able to lead them with it. But, like, as far as uh, making them, ultimately, at the end of the day, it's their choice to comply. But I digress. We're going down to the bottom. It looks like we're wrapping up on a uh, the end of episode 18 here. Oh, there's the Dr. Francis Cron home site, which I usually... We'll turn it off and go up there, but I think today maybe I won't. 
Delilah really likes that one because there's lots of area to run around. Um, had an interesting conversation. Uh, I was out there last time with Delilah and this uh, young African American fellow. I mean, I guess he was similar in age to me. He comes up and starts talking, and uh, he said something offhand about uh, how you know probably slaves built that. And I was like, eh, I don't know if that's historically accurate. You know, we and, but it actually kind of started a good conversation. Um, you know, about the Civil War times and stuff, and, uh, um, I, uh, he seemed like a really nice guy, I had a good talk with him, and I appreciated his point of view, like I always try to, wow, boy, is it gorgeous out here, we're down at the boat launch now, and, uh, there's a big area up here that's just completely open, and, uh, you can just kind of wheel around if there's nobody here, you're not supposed to park on this side, it's the, uh, lower boat launch um onto the uh it's actually the side of the original Petey river ferry and uh you can get a fantastic view right across the river which doesn't even seem about like a two football field lengths so you can see the houses on the other side are really good what few there are because it's heavily restricted we're kind of at the area where the restricted stuff starts and there's just a few houses north of that but beautiful 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 out here i'm gonna just chill here for a second i figure she'll be waking up any time now but um running a little bit long this week so anyway i guess the plan for the rest of the week would be uh probably take delilah to dinner somewhere tonight she'll stay with us tonight so that means we got play times probably watching a lot of episodes of cuphead on netflix because that's her jam right now got her a sliber um Schleiber makes these really anatomically accurate little plastic animals. And I got her a little set with a couple dogs and a little dog house and a little fence. And so we're going to play with that when we go back to the store. I know she's going to just completely dig that because I got her the cat one. And she absolutely would not leave it like it had to go with her wherever she went. So um, she'll be probably taking that home tonight. And then we also got Play-Doh, but I'm going to use the uh, the green Play-Doh to set up a little bit of a little yard area and set that fence on that's my plan anyway i may take some video of that who knows but yeah so you can check out brentbowers.com the weekly vlog to see what happens after today but um this weekend we have tickets to a concert at baden inn a jazz trio is playing and it's like a dinner and a concert sort of thing and they do that once or twice a year and uh we actually played at one that was sort of geared toward a benefit earlier in the year that was a great experience and i saw how they did it and it made me go next time i do this with somebody else i'm gonna just come and be a, a spectator and just enjoy it but um yeah as far as i can see everything looks good and uh we're on track to have a really good christmas we're supposed to go down to north myrtle just nancy and i and for my birthday and the big thing that we're going to try to do this time is go to that like uh the medieval times like dinner and a show kind of a thing and uh, the Pirates was so good. If the, if the Medieval Times is half as good as that, and I think it will be interesting to me because I know they joust and fight with armor, uh, I'm into it, man. I, it should be amazing. I'm going to get some great footage of it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just chuffed to uh, to be living, living the dream, man, living my best life. I'm trying to get back to working out, doing a little bit in that regard, trying to eat right, doing a little bit in that regard. Um, although when I feel sick like today, I tend to... <laughs> slip off the diet a bit but um that's just because it makes me feel you know physically feel better to to have a little more carbs but typically leaving those carbs alone not eating bread uh still eating pretty good but you know not eating bread trying to stay away from sugar in general like i said been a little slacker feeling bad but uh yeah i don't feel really sick so i'm, I'm thankful for that it's just that i don't feel also inclined to go out and do extra physical stuff while i'm feeling this way but yeah, I've been winding down to the end of that class. I was just thinking we might not even be able to make that final class because I think we'll be getting back from the beach on the same day. But um, I don't know. All is well. Just picked up a tutorial and brush pack, digital brush pack from jazzastudios.com because I'm really trying to get into digital painting. And I've got my, my big uh, tablet now. Well, it's not really a tablet. It's like a screen you draw on. And I need to learn that technique and still struggling to get my Oswolf product through DAS 3D, but uh, it is in full testing, and they've given me a first round of feedback, and there was quite a lot of it, and my 
contractor that I commissioned to do this work is making those fixes for me. So I hope I get that guy out. I don't think he's going to hit by Halloween, but I'm not stressing it. As long as I make my money back in the next year, you know, I'm, I'm okay with it. But uh, that's what's going on this weekend. And hopefully we'll have a nice rehearsal with Harrison. Oh, by the way, Saturday, uh, they're doing some event back at Gold Hill uh, and having wood-fired pizza. I think I'm going to run up there, get a wood-fired pizza, and just hang out and see how big that is at the Backstreet Mercantile. Because the following weekend, we will be playing. I need to make that in, in, uh, invite, evite, whatever, uh, on Bowers Foreman today. And then also, I think we'll be doing maybe November the 16th. I don't know, man. It's a lot of studio dates, a lot of performance dates, trying to make us have a really active end of the year. Um, since the electric band's not happening right now, I don't have to take away time from the acoustic stuff, and I can focus on getting that Christmas show ready. And I'm hoping to have some sort of little album come out of that, too. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, that's going to be a wrap for episode 18 of Brento Cast. We've ran long. Hopefully, you don't mind. But that's the way things are shaking out this week. Have a good one. God bless. Rento out.